It's your turn to clean the bathroom again, and you're fearing the worst. What hellacious fate awaits you this time? The hair clogged drain? The toothpaste explosion? Or is it the mysterious ceiling stain? Well, whatever it is, we got six tips to take care of it. Now, if you're all about natural cleaning methods, brew a really strong batch of black tea. Talking three bags in an eight ounce glass. You're gonna use it to clean the glass or mirror in your bathroom. Transfer the tea into a spray bottle and instead of using a paper towel, try newspaper. Apply a thin coat of black tea and put the newspaper to work on your dirtiest mirror in the house. For best results, two or more applications may be necessary, but look at that difference. No one likes scrubbing the shower, but it's gotta be done. And it's probably long overdue. If you want to tackle that soap scum and nasty grime, get yourself a dish wand and fill it with half vinegar and half liquid soap. It's quick and easy and can even be accomplished while showering. Rub-a-dub-dub. If you're looking to remove those hard water stains from your fixtures, all you're going to need is a lemon and some elbow grease. The acid in the lemon breaks down the hard water and it's easy on your hands, so there's no harsh chemicals needed. If you've got tougher stains, then you can try wrapping washcloths around the affected area and soaking them with distilled white vinegar. You're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes before you can remove the rags. But here's a pro tip. You can get an old toothbrush and get to the hard to reach spaces as well. Simply rinse off the fixture when you're done and watch it shine like new. Is your soap dispenser or toothbrush holder looking pretty nasty? It's one of the most neglected items in our bathroom. Here's a quick trick most people don't even consider. Try tossing it in your dishwasher next time you do a load. It'll do all the hard work for you. You'd be mighty surprised at the amount of grime that builds up, and you won't have to scrub any soap scum or dried toothpaste off anything. Next time you clean your toilet, try using vinegar. It's an eco-friendly method that kills bacteria, germs, mold, and lime deposits. Start by giving your toilet an upper decker and pouring a bunch of vinegar into the top bowl. Now go ahead and move to the rim of the toilet and clean that with vinegar as well. Next, soak some toilet paper up with vinegar and stuff it on the inside rim of the toilet and allow it to sit for several minutes while you pour vinegar into the bowl and clean with your trusty bowl scrubber. Then remove the toilet paper and scrub the inside of the rim with an old toothbrush before finally flushing. That toilet's so clean you could eat off of it. One of the most common sources of nastiness and smells in the bathroom is your toilet brush, but it goes unnoticed. The best way to deal with this is to pour some sort of all-purpose cleaner at the bottom of the holder. We're talking your pine saws, your bleaches, stuff like that. Just make sure to top it off every now and then to keep your brush nice and sparkly clean. Now here's a little bonus for those of you who might happen to have a washer and dryer in your bathroom. Did you know that clogged dryer vents cause thousands of house fires each year? But it's one of those things that can be easily avoided. So while you're doing your bathroom cleaning duty, bust out the vacuum and get yourself a paper towel roll. Hook it to your vacuum hose and go to town, getting all those hard to reach places. This will really extend the vacuum sucking power quite a bit and you can get rid of all that extra lint that might one day cause a fire. We hope these tips can help contribute to you having a fantastically clean and sparkly bathroom. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.